Hi and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a nice My Team web section uh, like this one that you can see on the screen here. So this design is um, a little bit the same as the one we did for you in a previous video, but uh, just a few things to change. Even as you can see, the animation is kind of different. It's coming from left to right. But in the previous video, we made an animation from top to bottom, okay? So I am going to show you on this video how to design this uh, team web page section using HTML and then CSS. So let's jump right in. Let's, let me start by writing the HTML code and also make sure that you have the font awesome uh, link to your web design. So I will start with the div class, a div tag, and then give it the class, uh, my team. And I will have the div class again, profile pick. I will have the image tag and I will say source and then put the path to my images. Uh, image six. I will add another div tag and give it a class of uh, detail text. And in here, I will say P. I will write the name. So I will say Patrick Mills. Then after that, I will say P again. Uh, so here, instead of P, I will say H1. So down here, I will say P. So for paragraph tag, and then write the job function. And I will say P again, and then I will add the font awesome. So here I'm going to write the font awesome class, Facebook. Next, I'm going to copy and paste Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and then I will copy and paste. Then here I'm going to say image eight, then image one. So here I will say Mark Peters, then John Doe. IT manager, and then here, marketing officer. All right, so this is for the HTML part of the design. Now I will start writing the CSS code. So I'll start by writing some generic properties, then font family, poppins, and I will say body, HTML, display, Flex, align items, center, justify content, center, and then the background, RGB, say 3, 319. Then I will say my team. So this is the my team class. So I will say display flex. And then the width will be 100%. Then justify content, say space around. The next thing will be profile peak. So that will say width and then height, 400 pixels. Finally, the padding will be 25 pixels. Background. So this is going to be the background color. So let me say 19. And then the position, relative. I'll say display again, flex, align items, center. I will add a transition. Then save, profile pick, then translate. Instead of saying translate Y, I will say translate X. And then inside the brackets, I will put 15 pixels. So I will continue profile pick hover before, and then I'll add opacity one. I will also add profile pick again, hover that detail text. I'll say opacity one again then transform so i will say translate x zero then if i come and refresh so this is what we are getting so i need to style the image tag so i'm going to say profile pick emg and say width Instead of 100%, I'm going to say 95% in order to put the space between the images. As you can see here, I have the space between the images, okay? Because if I put 100%, there will be no space between these images. So that's why I need to put the width to uh, 95%. Height as well, I will give the same percentage. 
and then the position i will say absolute the top zero then left zero so i will say object feet cover save we come and refresh yes so now as you can see all the images are showing correctly i need to add some overlay so in order to do that i will simply say profile pick before and then content position absolute top zero left zero as well and display block so the width will be the same width as the width we gave to the image tag here 95 percent so uh, i can give it 100 percent because if i give it 100 percent it's going to overflow so we need to give it 95 percent and then the height as well we need to give it 95 percent so as for the background color we are going to make it a linear gradient so i will need to write linear gradient and then specify the direction so i can say to bottom for example just for us to see how this is going to look like RGB 233 4 comma 4 and then transparent then uh, z index say 2 opacity we we'll say 0 and then we add some transition that will be 0 0.5 second then save so if i come here now as you can see the overlay and then the, the transparency is linear gradient so it's coming from top to bottom okay so because we specified to bottom here all right so if we say to top you will see that the gradiency is going to come from bottom to the top yeah as you can see now all right so after doing that we can now start styling the text details of our design so we will write profile pic that detail text because that's the name we gave to the class and position relative z index this is to make sure that the text is going to come before it's going to come in front of the overlay so i'm going to say three like this and then the color will be white as usual the opacity zero and transform the translate x 60 percent then transition will be the same 0 0.5 seconds now if you refresh yeah, as you can see the transition yeah so the next element i'm going to start uh, styling will be uh, h1 tag so i'll say margin zero font size 40 pixels i'll do the same thing for the paragraph tag so here i'm going to add some letter spacing then the font size and margin top let me also add for the links so for this one i need to add the width 30 pixels the height 30 pixels display inline block border one pixel solid white and then border radius and text decoration none i can also style the um, icon the social media icons individually so i'll write like this i can say color white and then padding six pixels eight pixels so after saving i can refresh the page now this is eight so as you can see we need to bring the text here the text details down okay so it is now here at the center at the middle of uh, the image we need to bring it down here so one way we can do that is to come to here detail text class and then add a top property and we will say 25 percent then come here to refresh yes so it is working so i guess our css code is complete 
the same thing for our HTML code and our design is uh, looking pretty. So guys, that's it concerning how you can design this team web page section, okay, uh, using HTML and CSS and then applying some overlay background color and then some effects and uh, animation when you put your mouse on each of these images. As you can see, me doing like this here. So I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and uh, let's meet in the next video.